you know, from my standpoint, the the hope has always been to to to, to be here and to be here for 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 a long time. You know, my my agent and Ali have been in in, in touch. Obviously, there's been moments where that has been. Where, where those conversations have been more um, more often, you know, when you go through a transfer window uh, like you do in the summer, Ali's busy, and so you want to you want to give him the time to make sure that he can work and, and address the immediate needs of the club. Um, you know, we had some more good discussions towards the end of the regular season, um, just before the playoffs. But then, obviously, when the playoffs start. Um, it's, it's it's not a priority in, in any way. You, know, you want to make sure that you you the, the, the concentration and the focus for everybody inside this building is on the playoffs and, and you know what what the, on the task at, at hand over 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 the next few weeks. So um, yeah, I it, there's nothing more to say right now other than that. Yeah. Figure it out. Uh, obviously, Michael's played a huge role in uh, in helping us to to push the culture forward to get a winning culture here at the club. Uh, he plays a, a massive role in that. I think you know, there's a lot of people around here who take their um, take notice of how he comes to work every day and the intensity that he brings, the work rate that he brings, the passion for everything that he does on the field, off the field, um, the attention to detail. Uh, there's a lot of guys who, who see that in that locker room and have, for me, become real pros uh, as a product of um, watching and seeing how Michael works and sat, getting up next to him and, and doing the work with him. And so uh, I think that's that's pivotal. Um, obviously, we've had a lot of success over the last uh, five years, and I think he's been here six, but five between the two of us and, and the rest of us. So um, I think there's still success for us to, to have, and hopefully, hopefully we can find the right solution and um, we can keep the feedback. I want to, in, in this conversation, get into whether or not he's going to be a TAM player, or whether or not he's going to be a designated player. We just want to have a good conversation with Michael uh, in this moment and his representation and try to get a deal done, and then we figure out kind of the designations uh, after the fact. But does a lot of it have to do with how much you get him for? Yeah, a lot. it has to just deal with, with compensation. Um, so in terms of what his, his player category is, um, so we have to manage that appropriately. I think it's 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 early just to uh, determine what that what that is. Um, there's been a lot of conversation about you know can he be a tan player, and I think that um, you know in the universe before he came here, um, he was definitely going to be uh, a designated player. I think now that there's a conversation where uh, he would not be a designated player. To what, Ali, to what level does the CBA landscape affect? what happens with his contract and going forward potentially with this club? Well, we gotta, you know, we have to move forward um, as, as if things are kind of uh, status quo um, or w there's a level of uncertainty in terms of what 2020 will look like, but we need to prepare for next season, um, not just with, with Michael, but with other players as well in terms of bringing them back or adding new players to the roster and those types of things. So. Um, you know, abs you know, not so much concerned about what will happen with the, with the collective bargaining agreement. We'll be told that, um, whether that's tomorrow or whether that's in a few months. Um, we'll get clarity on that, but it's important that we move forward uh, as an organization so that we can try to improve and get better such that we can, you know, um, as opposed to appearing in the final, that we can win a final. Uh, you know, I told Ali yesterday, um, he's been keeping me abreast, and I said, let's close it in the next week or so. You know, so I think I think we're in a good place. Um, certainly, there's a desire on both sides, and we just, uh, you know, we just have small some small things that we're trying to work out. But uh, I think we're in a good place. And is it fair to say that when you put you try and put a value on Michael, that it's not just on the field? You know, he is he, and especially down the stretch this year, I thought he was our most important player. Um, he, he's a guy that, that, that every day, and you've seen him, you guys have covered our team, he brings it every day. Uh, he's the utmost professional. 
and and I think what we've seen for him, especially now at this stage of his career, you know, when the biggest games are on the line, he shows up, and uh, um, you know, he's a guy that uh, I hope can be here when he retires because. You know, I, I don't think we've had a player in our history, and I think Oso after him, um, who's really spent that long. And, uh, you know, certainly we have Justin Morrow, um, but, but these are guys that have become identifiable and no one bigger than Michael in terms of identifying with TFC. So I do hope we can, we can come to this. I think we're in a good place, um, but, but he is, he's our engine. He's our engine.